Coal India Limited, the world's largest coal producer, invites Indian private enterprises to explore boundless possibilities presented by the coal mining industry. As a first step, the Ministry of Coal under Government of India has decided to lease out 20 of its discontinued coal mines to the private sector companies on the mine developer operator model. There are over 100 such discontinued mines with the government which will also be leased out in a phased manner. The decision to lease out these mines is driven by a host of factors, including exponential growth in consumption of the country's power needs. This upward trajectory will continue in the mid to long term as India records sustained an impressive economic growth. More importantly, as several of these mines also have coking coal primarily used by the steel industry combined with the locally produced coal will go a long way in augmenting the country's overall production thereby bringing down the dependence on imports. As urban centers expand and new settlements emerge across the Indian landscape, the demand for power is bound to grow. To overcome these challenges and to meet the aspirations across multiple sectors of a growing economy, it is imperative that the country's energy needs keep pace with these developments. As part of its strategy, the Government of India has taken major steps to unlock the immense potential of the coal mining industry by inviting private sector participation with the objective of quickly ramping up production. The coal operators will be given the freedom to sell coal at prevailing market rates and to all sets of consumers including the SME sector. Investment in these discontinued mines is an attractive long-term proposition. There are sufficient coal deposits in these mines which can be extracted quickly and using the latest technology available. Owing to increased efficiency and availability of already developed infrastructure for accessing the underground deposits at the mines in question. Like the availability of power source, environmental and other statutory clearances, etc. The mines can be run economically and profitably. Activation of the 20 discontinued mines will help generate much needed employment in the vicinity. An example of public-private partnership, the Jajra Project Colliery. A large underground mechanized mine is a successful example of public-private partnership. It is the highest underground coal production mine of India with 3.63 million ton in financial year 2021-22. Existing technology and modern machinery at Jhajra. Continuous miner of Joy Mining. Continuous miner of Cat Bucurus. High productive 1.7 million ton per year. Long wall equipment two low-height continuous miners of Caterpillar. Basic details of the 20 discontinued mines which are being put up for lease are enumerated in the following tables for ready reference. Discontinued mines of five subsidiaries of Coal India to be leased. Eastern Coal Fields Limited, ECL, Moira, Chinakuri, Madhujori, Gopinathpur Shampure, Central Coalfields Limited, CCL, Central Sondai, Karanpua Khas, Associate Karanpura, Bharat Coking Coal Limited, BCCL, Loha Patti, Madhubandi, Amlabad, Loabad, Kharkhari, Southeastern Coalfields Limited, Batunga Hill, Anjan Hill, Kalyani, Birsingpur Pali, Western Coalfields Limited, WCL, Rajur Pits, Vairuri, AB Incline, Pipla, Walni. Even as demand for energy continues to grow at a phenomenal pace, coal is and will remain the primary source material for the power generating companies as well as the manufacturing industry for at least the next 50 years. Moreover, the latest technology advancements along with robust systems and processes will not only speed up the production 
but also ensure safety while maintaining social, environmental and operational sustainability of these mines and surrounding mines. In conclusion, privatization in the mining sector will go a long way in meeting energy needs and bringing down dependence on imports, thereby making the call for an Atmanirbhar Bharat.